Hey guys, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing the Dior Summer 2023 handbags collection. So I'm going to show you guys the handbags and also react to them, tell you guys which one I like and which one I would consider getting and which one I don't like as much. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Before I do start today's video, I want to let you guys know that I'm currently having a giveaway. It's a luxury red envelope giveaway. So I have a full box of Burberry, a full box of Bulgari, and I have individual red envelopes from Dior Couture, Dior Beauty, Cartier, Van Cleef & Arpels, um, Hermes, and Sugarfina. Hopefully, I'm not missing any, but I'll link that video down below if you guys want to win some red envelopes. So like I said, today's video, I'll be reacting and showing you guys the new handbags. So this collection is already out online. It is slowly coming to boutiques, I would say, in a week or two weeks, and it will... Definitely more will come uh, in March. So it's slowly coming to boutiques in February, but more it will mostly launch more pieces in March. So let's start off with Lady Dior. So we have like micro, small, mini, and medium Lady Dior's. This first one is going to be a micro and it has like a beautiful floral print. You guys know I love flowers and I really love like floral prints from Dior. This one is really, really beautiful. And micros are very cute, although you can't really fit as much. Next one is another micro and this one is really, really beautiful. Very, very sequined and gems. So I'm zooming in. It looks like... I see mostly, I guess it's mostly gems, and it might be crystals, I'm not too sure, but it's very beautiful, and I love, like, the coloring on it. It isn't too, like, bold, like, we have those really nice, like, light blue, like, a light green. It's just really, really stunning. We have another micro, and I really, really love this one. It's floral. It looks like it's, like, embroidered on, and we have some beads on there. I really like that. And then this one, I believe, is a mini... I hope and it is also in that same floral print and I really like this because it's like the delight handbag and you can get it personalized in the bag which I love so so much and it has that beautiful guitar strap I don't have a delight yet so I may need a mini delight soon then we have I believe this is a medium this one is kind of like lace um, lacing but it's in a floral like design and then we have this one. I don't know the name of this motif yet, but I'm definitely loving this one because it has like different kind of like monuments in Paris. Um, and it's really, really beautiful. So it's white and black, but we have like the art, you know, art. Mm, I don't want to try pronouncing it, but we have like the famous monuments that are very, very like tourist, you know, popular places to visit. And yeah, I really, really like it and it's really pretty, basically like the streets of Paris and I absolutely love this one. Then we have another medium. This one is floral. I think I see, yep, I see like a few birds on there. Very stunning. Another one of that floral lace. And then we have Lady Dijoy. Again, with that same street in Paris motif, which I love so much. And it even says Christian Dior in the front. This one has to be my favorite motif. And I know it comes in a bikini as well, so I definitely will be checking that out. And we have more Lady Dijoy, that same like floral, oh no, this is a new one. A different kind of floral print. And it has like these like violets, these purples, these like burgundy, red, magenta, uh, and beige florals. It's so pretty. I love this color. Then we have like a green one. Kind of reminds me of like a swamp, but it's still very beautiful. Then we have this one. I believe this is the D-Joy that Jisoo from Blackpink wore at the uh, Couture show in was it in Paris. And this one is very beautiful. It has like these like purple pink flowers and we got like the stem and the green leaves. Very stunning. And then next are going to be book totes. That same lace one. Um, another floral. Another floral. And then we have another. Oh yeah, there's just a lot, a lot of florals. But... I think I kind of like this white one right here because it's all white. Then we got like that pop of red, the pop of blue, the pop of orange flowers. So I really like that book tote. And then we have the one that I love so much. I cannot get over this one, you guys. Like I just am obsessed with this like street in Paris. And I love that it says Christian Dior right in the front. 
very beautiful. And now for saddle bag, we have that same motif you guys already know. This is the bigger size. It comes with a strap. There's a handle, and I prefer the bigger saddle over the mini just because the mini you can't really wear as a shoulder bag. And also the bigger saddle, to open it up, the flap is just easier and less of a hassle. And I just love that it's just easier to get stuff out. Like my mini, it, it does fit my iPhone in there, but it's kind of a struggle sometimes and I kind of get annoyed. So definitely recommend the bigger saddle. Then we have another saddle in that floral print. And then we have another saddle. This one looks like the mini one in another floral. And now for Dior Carl, that same floral print. A lot of floral prints for this summer collection, I will have to say. The beautiful like reds, purple, violets, and blue. And then this is actually a new handbag. This one is called the 30 Montaigne Avenue bag, I believe. But kind of reminds me of the Dior Bobby. Slightly different. But they're very, very, very similar. Uh, I would say it's similar to the East West Bobby bag. But this one is called the 30 Montaigne Avenue bag. So we have like a white one. I really love like the CD chaining on it. Kind of reminds me of the Caro chain. Then is also a black one. And then this is a new one. It's kind of like a bucket bag in a way. I forgot what it's called. But it's a new one and it's so cute. It comes in black. There's like a small and medium size I believe. There's black. And then there's this like... Uh, cloud blue and then we have this other one where it looks like it's beaded and then there's also this new handbag I don't know what it's called but I kind of like it it comes with that like shoulder letter strap but as you guys can see there's also this little mini chain there too so you just different kind of chains and I love that it has a Dior charm on this side we have oblique and then we also have a beige one um, and then there's also a black there's also this one it's kind of like a moon in a way like a half moon and a crescent moon and I think it's really cool the, the the strap is really different like one side is leather and the other side is like the chain hardware so very cool and then the zipper there's like a little CD charm there I like that a lot comes in oblique there's even a white one and then we have another handbag this one I don't know if I like it that much just because it seems like it's better for like an older person, not very young and youthful and playful I will have to say. Um, there's like the top handle and it looks like you can wear it as a shorter bag though but I don't really know how I feel about it until I see it in person so I'll let you guys know when I go shopping and I see it, I'll let you guys know my full, full honest opinion. This is my, my opinion just seeing the photo so stay tuned so it comes in white there's also the black one and yeah that is going to be all of the handbags i have for you guys um very quick video today um i will have to say my favorite is going to be like the floral prints i really love those and of course the paris street one can't get over that one for the paris street i think i will have to say my favorite is the delight the mini delight i think that's the mini hopefully or the medium it's kind of hard to tell the sizing on the picture, but I really, really love it. So I definitely will keep my eye out on that one. And I kind of am digging those new handbags like the Half Moon or the other one before that. And the 30 Montaigne Avenue bag is very interesting because I really love the East West Bobby. So I feel like I would like that bag as well. So I definitely have to check it out. Also, the material is in calfskin. So... Yeah, most Dior bags are usually lambskin, but this one is calfskin. So if you're looking for a Dior handbag and you don't want to like get a scratch as much and you're scared. So I recommend that handbag since it is calfskin. But that is going to be my video today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Also, check out my giveaway and I will see you guys next time. Bye!